All right, we have the JTS M12 AK 12 gauge semi automatic shotgun. And we're going to show you how to take this gun down and clean it in this video and put it back together. If you guys are looking at this gun, one of the questions I had was, how do you go about taking it down? Is it like an AK-47? What's the differences? How hard is it to take it down? We're going to show you in this video. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me that thumbs up like button. And check this out. Obviously, the first thing we're going to do for internet safety patrol. Gun is empty. Inspect the chamber visually so the trolls don't get you, and you should anyway. Now you can get to cleaning. One of the things I noticed on this shotgun is it's got a really good trigger pull for a gun like this. So I'm going to check it with a Lyman digital trigger gauge here and show you just how good it is. Gun has a two-stage trigger pull on it. Three pounds, 3.4 ounces. Two pounds, 14 ounces. Two pounds, nine ounces. Two pounds, six ounces. Just an incredible trigger. Now it's an AK pattern shotgun, so it's not exactly a work of art, but I'm telling you, the trigger is really smooth. There's a definite creep in there, but at that light weight, the trigger is very easy to manage for this thing. In fact, it's good enough to where if it was on a rifle, I'd be halfway happy with it. This is the Lineman Digital Trigger Pull Gauge. If you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link to that down in the description below too. After ensuring the shotgun's unloaded, yes we did, you saw that, this button right here is what starts your takedown process. It has a little button on top, then you push this in, and that allows the dust cover to flip up. It helps if you have something to hold this thing up. From there, you take your recoil spring assembly, push this forward a little bit, lift it some, and the rest of this dust cover and recoil spring come out very simply. So with the recoil spring and dust cover out of the way, the bolt assembly moves straight back. Pay attention to how the rotating bolt is arranged in here and how it sits. Notice how far forward it is on the main bolt. Now this is the rod that drives the action open from the gas piston when it fires your bolt sits in there and rotates to eject the shell and pick up the new one so this whole thing arranges like that with the extractor at about the 11 o'clock position when you put it back together so we're going to take that out set that aside now about the hardest part that i found so far with this thing is this little lever right here this lever has to rotate up to get the gas block apart and it's really no easy task because it's super duper tight I know that that will break in, but for right now, we need a little help to get that thing open. There we go. Right here, you can see how there's a flat spot right in there. When this thing rotates, see that flat spot? That needs to be completely vertical, completely vertical, to be able to lift this handguard off. and then that comes right off. That is the middle of your gas cylinder right there. This is where your piston rides and that rod off the bolt right there that actually cycles your action. So we set that aside. Then you need to reach up inside of here, and pull out your piston. This thing is all grungy because we just got finished shooting that other shooting video. So we're going to clean that all off good. Set that aside. I'm not going to remove the bottom handguard. To do that, there's a little pivot right here that you got to move up to take the bottom handguard off. It's not necessary for cleaning. The gun is now field stripped and ready to clean up. So at this point, I'm going to take a few minutes, clean all these components up, get a nice light coat of oil on them, then I'll show you how to put the gun together. And there is a trick to it. One thing I will show you here, I use one of these rip cords to clean the bore. If you guys don't have one of these things to clean your shotguns, rifles, whatever, you really should get one. They make cleaning the barrel a breeze. You just get it started in there, wrap the cord around your hand, pull it right through, and that barrel is clean as a whistle. I'll have links to the Ripcord bore cleaner down in the description below and any other stuff we're using during this cleaning video. Alright, reassembly. Obviously everything that might rust you want a nice light coat of oil on. So put our piston back in first. Word of warning, you need to make sure you put some oil in this hole right here because what happens is this piece that you see on this edge here 
the centerpiece is what turns with your gas adjustment. So when you're adjusting your gas, you pull this back and spin this, that whole centerpiece is turning to open up the different size gas orifices. You don't want that to jam up, so you need to lube that, spin it a bunch of times, make sure there's nothing in here gummed up and that that's well oiled. So now that we got our gas piston in there, we put our gas block back together. All right now, our gas block goes back together. Now this piece right here is still stiff and might be hard to rotate down. So if that happens, you might need to take your old trusty nylon mallet, tap that back down into position. That won't mar your gun up and it helps that move. Once it gets broken, it'll be a lot easier to deal with. Here's the fun part in that little assembly trick that I was telling you guys about. These are all cleaned, well lubed. We gotta get that bolt back in. Remember that our extractor was at the 10 o'clock position. So we get that back in and you make sure that this little cam surface is in this little groove right here. That's where that goes. Insert the front of it. Now your bolt has to be to the forward position. Not pushed way back in there, but forward. At that point, you push this piece down. You're going to get it lined up to the back of the gun. And when you push it in, the whole assembly will go forward the way it's supposed to. All the way front. But you've got to get everything lined up just right. And it will be up like that. It's riding on the hammer. You've got to push that hammer down to get it down into battery. And then it will go forward. Now that you got that, your recoil spring goes in. The rest of that dust cover right there, just kind of guide that in. This is a plastic piece, no big deal. But you got to make sure that this part, oh, I've got my glove, gets underneath there because that's what locks that into place, and that's your takedown button that holds the whole thing together, and we're done. Now, I like to basically get a light coat of oil on the whole outside of this thing to protect it from rust. If you have a silicone cloth, that works great too. Quick function check. All done. This thing's about as easy to clean as anything you'll ever own, really. Once you've taken this thing down once, it's really easy and fast. You can clean this gun, not running the camera, in 10 minutes or less. And that's if it's real grungy. So there you go. We're going to have a lot more videos featuring the shotgun coming up with a bunch of accessories. We've got some accessories on order to really looking forward to putting this gun through its paces with those. But that's basically your teardown procedure and your reassembly. If you guys have any questions, put them down there in the comments. Check out the cards up there for some of the other videos featuring the shotgun. Hit that subscribe button down there. Give me a thumbs up like button. Appreciate you watching. See you next time.